Hello everyone. My name is Jason Lee from SOS Ministry. SOS stands for The Secret of Secret. The title of the message today is The Top Secret of God. Today we came out to the Kunui Dam. It's about one and a half hours from downtown Tegu. It's behind the Palgon Mountain. Let's think about it. God's ultimate desire and wish is that how can God's heart and man's heart become united together, become one? He wanted to dwell together with his people and become one heart, sharing same kind of food. He wanted to, uh, God was uh, really uh, become one heart. But God was so sorry because his people could not understand his mind. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Sometimes he regretted that he created man. People learned the doctrines and they insisted that God is perfect. He's not lacking anything. He's almighty God. He's limitless God. But actually, his heart is poor that he wants. His people may understand his wish and desire. Satan always pricks the weak points of God and try to separate people from God's heart. The robe of the high priest in Israel is the most glorious attire. The gold bells and the pomegranates are to alternate around the hem of the robe. Someday the glorious Jesus will appear. It was the pattern and prediction of Jesus. The pomegranates was the symbol of the resurrection life. The high priest was just the image, but Jesus was truly glorious, and his character was so beautiful in reality. He was so truly and really the high priest. He was holding 12 jewels in his chest and 12 jewels on both sides of his shoulders. He was embracing all mankind and he was carrying all the mankind on his shoulder. He expressed his earnest desire to save all mankind on the cross and he became the life-giving spirit himself. Jesus made the invisible God visible what a glorious life it is. But Jesus alone is not enough. He needed a whole group of people. He needed his church and his kingdom on earth. Jesus died on the cross, but he gave us the detoxicating agent to save all mankind. He's our true savior, true king of victory, and he's our true Messiah. In Israel, anyone was beaten by the snake and looked at the bronze snake. He lived. The cross of Jesus was most outstanding, detoxicant in whole universe. One man in Florida produces detoxicant at his house. He injects the diluted poison of venom to his body and enhances the immunity in himself every day. He was beaten by venom so many times, but he was all right. His body composition was completely changed. Church is a detoxicant factory. 
Jesus himself is the best quality detoxicant. As descendants of Adam took the fruit of good and evil, the poison spread all over their body. They all turned to the embodiment of Satan themselves. As a result, they all became the self-centered, superficial, they always fight among themselves. They don't know how to maintain the peace in themselves. They all became embodiment of their strong self-respect. They always disguised themselves hiding behind the bush. God said, you have a reputation of being alive, but you are dead. The poison of the snake spread to all the descendants of Adam. God could not use any one of them, but Jesus became a new seed for new mankind, the seed of little lamb who God loved so much. He became the apostle of peace. He became the first fruit. God's wish and the czar was finally fulfilled. The main focus of the ministry of Jesus is may your kingdom a peace and victory come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We receive the citizenship of New Jerusalem in Jesus Christ finally. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, let us go out to the world as a detoxicating agent ourselves to get rid of the poison of Satan from the world. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. There's an underground secret route in God's palace. Jesus led us to the master bedroom of God through that secret underground passage. This is the top secret in whole universe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.